Alright guys, today we're going to talk about materials. I did a big search and I couldn't find anything, so I started doing some reverse engineering and going back to V-Ray Essentials and trying to recreate glass material based on my V-Ray knowledge. Okay, so you can see here that's my glass that I just played around with and it's got some Fresnel options which is uh, looking pretty realistic. And the best way of course to compare it is just to see how it works on other objects here in the room so we can see it's a little bit more reflective very glassy looking we can see that the reflections are a little bit strong but this is what makes the glass look beautiful and of course the best way is to uh, see how the glass works when you open and close doors and you add some lights because lights they create shadows and crowded shadows can create more uh, reflections in your glass so that's pretty cool all right, so let me show you how I made this glass here. I'm going to click Escape. And first thing you want to do in your project folder in order to make it all organized, the best way, of course, is to create a materials folder. So if you click here, Add New, you can create new folder, call it Materials. And inside this folder, we're going to create our glass. In order to create glass material, first we're going to create a base material and then we're going to instance that with parameters and adjust and tweak those parameters in order to fit perfect reflection and refractions. Okay, so first click on the material. Let's call it Arc Viz Glass and apply it to our glass here. Now we can double click on it open it up big and here we'll be able to start working with our parameters so first parameter is going to be our color it's the base color if you click three and right click you'll be able to create four vector vector color here and I always like to give it a little bit light color something like that light bluish greenish cyan okay now let's convert this parameter into color base that way we will know what we are tweaking in our instance material now here we're going to add some fresnel options and we're going to add it to metallic which is reflections we're going to add it to opacity and refraction uh, the only thing that will not change is the roughness so let's click one and right click and add roughness here roughness determines how smooth is your surface so glass normally is very smooth so it's going to be zero let's convert this parameter and call it roughness all right so that's the only thing that will not get refraction now let's convert our glass into translucent object so from opaque change it to translucent make sure two sides is deactivated and in your volumetric directional choose surface translucency volume that way it will transmit light through the surfaces through the polygons now here let's start adding the LARPs I'm gonna click L and create a LARP. To LARP I can connect two values, front and side. So first is going to be for the metallic. And this LARP is going to have constant of, let's convert this to reflection front. Control C, Control V. And this is going to be reflection side so as you know Fresnel works that way if you look into the object and it's a glass or a wine glass it will be fully transparent almost fully transparent in the middle and it will be more reflective and less transparent on the sides okay so we're trying to mimic that by adding LARP and mixing two values of front and side to the metallic to the opacity and let's do again control C control V this will be added into the refraction and here we need to change the parameters 
So that's gonna be opacity front. And this one gonna be opacity side. And that's refraction front. And that's refraction side. All right. Now here we need to put values. So the reflection is going to be very reflective, but less reflective in front. So in front, let's put it 0.5 and fully refractive on the side. With opacity, it's going to be default value front very very transparent 0 .00, 0 0.05 and on the sides less transparent 0 0.02 same goes to refraction let's do it 1.2 and the sides 0.8 We're going to change those values anyways, so that's just a basic starting point. Now here we need to add Fresnel. Let's add Fresnel. I'm going to do the vector Fresnel. And this we're going to connect to those three alphas here. Alpha channel here and alpha channel here. And that Fresnel is going to be controlled by constant which is called power. So we're going to increase the reflection. Let's put number three and convert this parameter into power. So that will control how strong our Fresnel function is. Okay, so this is basically it. Let's click save. And now we can close that. You can see that the glass is working already pretty good but we need to tweak it a little bit more so what we're going to do is create an instance from that material call it arcvis glass inst instant but before we do any adjustments let's add this instance to my glass that way our glass is having that material so we can see the changes happening right away now you can double click on it minimize it and you can see here we got all the parameters for controlling and changing. You can change the color of our glass. We can change the opacity, the power value. So let's try to play with this and see how this advanced parameters work. So somewhere here, opacity value, that's the sides, power works with our refraction how strong is the refraction values somewhere here reflection front this we actually need to see on the side of the glass so let's zoom out a little bit and try to tweak this Okay, so we don't want to go too far with the power. I think two is about enough. Reflection side. Refraction. And that's roughness. If it's two, it does disappears because it removes the smoothness. If it's zero, it brings them back here. But if we go into minus, yeah, I don't see any change, so that doesn't really affect it. Let's keep it up at zero. All right, so that's pretty cool right here. Let's tweak a little bit more the refraction values here. So, let's 
somewhere here would work really nice. All right, I really like this class. Okay, so let's click, let's save this, click play, and you can see we need to build our light again, but the glass is looking pretty good. And let's see how this works on the door here. Nice green reflective glass. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please share it with your friends. This is Alex, your Vira guy. Talk soon. Ciao.